from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, apply paper texture or apply a surface texture to a picture in Painter 12. Uh, I'm just going to just quickly go over to the document. I've got a selection of paper libraries here. They're from graphicextras.com. There's 1,300 odd paper textures. Uh, once you've loaded those, and you can load those via the window paper panels, paper libraries, and just go over the right side, import legacy paper library. And I'll just quickly load another paper library. Just go to desktop, just painted grains, paint textures, just select another one. The set comes with a set of thumbnails, so you can actually uh, find uh, different designs. So uh, just load in a selection more. It takes a few seconds to load a few more. And you'll see it down the bottom here. There's some more. Just select one of those, and you can see at that point you've got the uh, papers appearing there. You can see all the various different settings. You can set the scale. So obviously you, you might want a bigger scale, or you might want to just create very, very tiny sort of grain structure. Can change the contrast and the brightness. So you can make it very, very faint, or you can make it quite strong. So, right, I'm just going to set it with that. Just go to Effects, Apply Surface Texture, and you will see then the paper texture. Of course, at this point, if you decide, well, I don't want that paper texture, of course, you can just click other places here, and you will see. And unfortunately, I've always found this is the weirdest thing with uh, Painter. Lots of great features are added to Painter at regular intervals, and new brushes and new... But for some weird reason, the little... Photo, these sort of little panels... Same, same case in Photoshop in some ways. Some of these panels, the actual preview seems to say very, very small. It would be really nice if the, uh, the actual preview was uh, a little bit bigger. So... Uh, Anyway, that's one thing that would be really nice in Painter for a future version of Painter. Extend this preview so you can actually see the grains. Or maybe even better, make it actually uh, sort of instant uh, preview over here. So anyway, that's a little mere quibble. So you can change the softness of the thing. Of course, you can also, with the surface texture, you can modify the image luminance, etc. Original luminance as well. But I'm using paper, so I'm just going to go there, change the softness. You can change the amount, so it makes it really quite harsh. Just reduce the picture, the actual, so you can actually end up with more of the actual thing, which is quite effective in many ways as well. If you want, say, a very quick and easy background texture that you don't want to apply to a picture, you've actually can then, of course, manipulate it using the change of the colour there, and even actual subtle changes of position of light can actually radically change the uh, texture. So you can see as I move it around, and of course you can also always add, change the colour, or add another there. Sometimes two lights actually work better than one, sometimes. Of course you can change the brightness, etc. Right, that's a quick as well as a reflection, so you can make it more like metal if you wish, which maybe is effective or not. So I'm just going to reduce that down, increase the shine, get more of the picture back again. And again, like I say, you can change this if you wish, if you don't like that one. Also, you can change the size as well. So just click OK at that point, which creates a very um, Hmm. poster like effect anyway that's a quick uh, go through of the apply surface texture effect in painter and I say you could uh, obviously create your own paper textures but uh, there's a whole selection of paper textures available on graphicextras.com